We are at Yale University for our 8th Annual Tournament of Champions. There are 62 countries here at this event. It's our most diverse event, not just of the season, but in the 12-year history of the World Scholars Cup. Kind of the global of globals. Being at Yale is an honor. It has so much history behind it. Meeting all of these scholars that you've been talking to and then being at Yale and just doing all these incredible activities, yeah, it's amazing. The story of the opening road itself, all year long we've talked about members of our team being kidnapped by the dreaded university. And here we are, right now, at the dreaded university. This is not the first time the scholars are debating or taking a challenge or writing together in the collaborative writing event. We're hoping it will be in some ways the most challenging such day they've had all year, uh, but it's also a chance for them to show how much they've learned over the course of the season. You get asked to relate a historical leader to a piece of artwork or a piece of music, and it's just really interesting finding all those different connections and considering everything you've learned to make them. No one is ever going to know every single piece of knowledge. We always want to leave room for scholars to learn more. I think what I like about debate is how it opens your mind. Because you're never given a normal topic. They always give you topics you never ever think about. Debate appears to be about the opposition of ideas. But what I see here at the World Scholars Cup, and most of all at the Tournament of Champions, is this collaboration of ideas. I mean, it celebrates perspectives and diversity. It celebrates one person thinking one thing and proving that thing, and another thinking a completely opposite thing, but being able to prove it in the exact same way. Instead of everyone having to be the same, you can be unique in whichever way you want. Scavenger Hunt forces you to do awkward stuff that you're not used to doing in, in public with people that you've never seen before mm -hmm. and that step out of your comfort zone is what makes you, I feel like, a better person after it. This is really a chance for scholars to see what it's like to walk around a world-class university. It's also a chance for scholars to meet uh, with some special guests. Painted Warrior, the World Scholars Cup Alpaca is out on the New Haven Green, scholars get to meet him. They get to poire with a real live alpaca. <laughs> the scavenge really is just the best way to set the tone for an event like the Tournament of Champions. It's kind of like a mini debate between two people <laughs> if they have like different answers. And there's also like this sense of like you know excitement when you're waiting for like to see the answer if it's right or not. We are testing knowledge that they have been learning over the course of this year, but we always want to connect it to their own lives and to what they can relate to. You might be asked a question to identify what meme an artist would most relate to, and no matter what the question is, the scholars are always so excited when they get it right. When they are stumped, they always have fun regardless. You just get to the bowl and you have this fluffy toy which reminds you that Scholars Cup isn't all about like being serious and winning. It's about just having fun, being there, and just being with your friends. The show is basically celebrating all of the talents and the untalents that any scholar might have. You have people's acts where they recite every single country in the world and then it goes to someone singing musical theatre and it's just a celebration of all the things that you don't immediately see and a celebration of all the effort that people have had to put into it. It's just the fact that you can meet someone from the complete opposite side of the world where nothing is the same and then sit down and talk with them about something and agree about something. It's a really good feeling. It's like maybe there is some hope that our world can all live together one day. 
We get to meet different cultures and experiences and share them with each other, understand other point of views, and it's good that we have friends from across the world and not just one country. I've found my tribe here. I've found the people who I want to spend the rest of my time with, I want to talk to all the time, and I just, it's, it's impossible to leave that. To be able to share those kind of emotional farewells means that you have a, a shared history. There are no diminishing returns to the world coming together. And here at the TOC, our world is coming together as it never has before. Over 60 countries on the stage today. Every single time you felt the same upwelling of hope. It's really a capstone, it's the conclusion. For the teams, it's increasingly a chance to show that they can excel even amongst the best from all around the world. Whether it be that they receive one medal or 20, it's still encouragement for them to continue working hard. find people who are like you, or people who are not like you, but they don't fault you for that. We hope to keep welcoming scholars to the Terminal Champions for years. Even though this may be the dreaded university, this week we learned, I think as a community, that it's also the best place in the world to be, and the best place in the world that we can be together.